Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and welcome to the Juniper Border Gateway Protocol, BGP Lab number 9. In this lab, we're going to take a closer look at external BGP multi-hop. So what I'm going to do is explain the current network topology. We have two routers, router 1 and router 2. They are connected together via logical tunnel interfaces and they are both logical systems. If you're not familiar with those terms you might want to check out our videos on logical systems that is in our Juniper series 1 that's Juniper logical systems labs number 1 and 2. So router 1 and router 2 are connected together via logical tunnel interfaces and as you can see all our logical tunnels equal LT120 dot xx and what this means is for instance the connection from R2 to R1 we have logical tunnel our LT.21 but it's actually on the interfaces LT-120.21 between router 1 and router 2 we have two physical links and what I did is I magnified our picture to show this we have a connection between R1 and R2 on the 12 network that connection is LT.12 on R1 and LT.21 on R2 then we also have the 13 network between R1 and R2 that's LT.13 on R1 and LT.31 on R2 R1 also has a loopback 0.1 interface in which we have the 1.1.1.1/32 IP address configured. Router 2 has a loopback 0.2 interface with the 2.2.2.2/32 IP address configured. We are running BGP between R1 and R2 and this type of BGP is external BGP. R1 is in autonomous system 100 and router 2 or R2 is in autonomous system 200. Let me also point out to you that all of the IP addresses for instance on R1 are dot 1 that's all of the interfaces so the dot 12 interface the dot 13 interface and the loopback 0 dot 1 interface those are all dot 1s and router 2 is going to be all dot 2 so the LT.21 is dot 2, 31 is dot 2 and loopback 0 dot 2. So one of the scenarios we're going to look at when you use BGP multi-hop or eBGP multi-hop is when you have multiple physical connections between two routers that peer to each other via external BGP. Multi-hop allows you to bypass the external BGP rule stating that an eBGP connection must be directly connected. We will see this in the example with a few minor tweaks to our BGP configuration that we will be able to peer external BGP from R1 to R2's loopbacks. So instead of peering directly over the interface for instance, the 12 network, we're not going to peer 12.12.12.1 to 12.12.12.2. We're going to peer via our loopbacks on R1 and R2. That way we can use both the connections between router 1 and router 2 simultaneously. And what we're going to see as an added benefit is that if one of the links goes down, and this we're going to test later on, the traffic will still be able to go what we'll do is we'll ping via the loopback interfaces and show you the traffic flow and what happens when we do that when we bring one of the links down so the first thing I want to show you or the first thing that we are going to do is let's go ahead and get the basic configuration set up between these routers
we're going to build this lab 